arriving at Casey Jones Village. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. So here we are outside of the Old Country Store uh, restaurant, which is part of the Casey Jones Village. This is the train behind me. Yay! And you can see we're all bundled up. It's super cold here. I'm guessing that maybe why they're closed. We're really kind of disappointed because we were hoping to go in and see and taste some of the delicious food. We've heard the food is amazing, so we're definitely going to make another stop by here. In the future oh, yeah. um, but they've got the shops over here in the background uh, some of those are open and then the historic farm and uh, village over that direction as well so we'll try to post some video on that but super bummed that the um, that the restaurant is not open so we can't try that but we're gonna put it on our list and come back and try it at the time Casey Jones by the way if you didn't know is a famous engineer for the railroad known for his punctuality and risk taking um, culminating apparently potentially in the loss of his life um, but he saved multiple people on his passenger train uh, at the cost of his own life uh, yeah I was gonna say there's about, some like we did on Wikipedia yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's some speculation as to whether or not um, his risk taking was part of his final demise um, so we'll leave that up to the historians and philosophers to dis <laughs> dispute but uh, yep lots of uh, history and good eats here at the Casey Jones Village bye guys From a young age, Jonathan Luther Jones was infatuated with trains and wanted to work for the railroads. He would often talk to the engineers when trains stopped at the water tanks near his home in Casey, Kentucky, which is how he came by his nickname, Casey Jones. In 1878, at just 15 years of age, Casey started his first job working for the railroad. He first worked for Mobile and Ohio Railroad as a telegrapher, then he was promoted to brakeman. He later got promoted again to engineer, fulfilling his lifelong dream. Casey was well known for his punctuality and his distinctive train whistle, which was often likened to the war cry of a Viking. He died at just 37 years of age after working on the railroads for 22 years. According to the Casey Jones Village website, at 12.50 a.m. on a foggy April 30th, 1900, Casey's engine number 382 departed from Memphis, headed for Canton, Mississippi. They were already 95 minutes behind schedule, and Casey, always the daredevil, was determined to make up for lost time. The train roared along, leading Jones to comment to a co-worker, Sim, the old girl's got her dancing slippers on tonight, but danger lay ahead. A caboose and three freight cars had been accidentally left on the track. Casey sprang into action. Jump, Sim, jump, he yelled to his co-worker as he slammed the air brakes to lessen the impact of the crash. Casey was killed instantly. He was the only fatality. It is said when his mangled body was pulled from the rubble that his hands still clutched both the brake and the whistle cord. His death made national news. Thank you for joining us on our adventure at the Casey Jones Village in Jackson, Tennessee. To plan your own adventure, see the website linked below. Please also click and subscribe and do all of the YouTube thingies so that it'll really help our channel out and so we'll keep making videos. Thank you. Bye for now.